Hello friends, and here is another bedtime math story. It is called, Are We There Yet? Looks like they're in a car. I gotta go, again? I know that, I've been there. When you're about to go on a long car ride, that is not the best time to drink a gallon of water. A lot of the water you drink gets soaked up by your stomach and intestines, but some of it runs right through you and comes out your other end as pee. How long that takes depends on how much you drank, how hot it is outside, and how long you, ago you ate, among other things. But water could take an hour or less to go through you, so make sure there's a potty stop on the trip. For the wee ones, what shape is this sleeping boy's window? For the little kids, if you think you'll need to pee in 10 minutes, but the next rest stop is 12 minutes away, for how much extra time will you have to hold it in? Oh, I hate that. For the big kids, if you drink 22 ounces of water and your body pees all but nine ounces of it, how much of it comes out as pee? And the bonus, if you'll need to pee in 45 minutes and it is now 3.28 p.m., at what time will you need a potty stop? I hope you enjoyed this bedtime math story and I'll see you soon.